Kelly here. The music. It's time for KTK gives back. KTK's Isaac Ramirez is joining us live from One East Texas College this Thursday morning. Isaac, who are we honoring today? Hey guys, today I am in beautiful TJC. It's just so gorgeous out here. I've always enjoyed the TJC campus. Actually, I'm in the Welcome Center, and this is one of the new walls they have. It's like a giant sticker on the wall, but it looks like TJC. It's actual TJC, but we know it's been raining all week. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that today. But we're at TJC to recognize the Tyler Junior College Police Department. Let's go ahead and meet them. How are you guys doing today? Great. Great. Y'all can do better than that. How are you guys doing? Great. Uh, there we go. I love the energy out here. We're going to go ahead and meet with Chief Seal. Chief, how proud are you of the women standing here next to you today? Isaac, I'm incredibly proud of the men and women that work for the TJC Police Department. They come together and work as a team to not only keep the campus community safe, but also the surrounding area as well. Yeah, y'all do a really uh, good job with it as well. Uh, how important are college police departments? Well, the vision of the college is to educate. So I view college police departments as part of that education process. Oftentimes, especially with our students, this is the first time they're away from home, they're away from their parents. So they're going to have issues arise where they're going to come have to, they're going to come talk to us or they're going to violate a law or a college policy. While our job is to enforce the laws and the college policy, our job is also to educate these students. We want them to be model citizens both here at TJC once they graduate and then they go move on. Um, whether it be their academic career or workforce, et cetera. And I know parents are thankful to have you guys. I mean, having that peace of mind, knowing that my child is somewhere where I know they're safe because uh, there are men and women who dedicate their lives to keeping others safe as well. Speak of that, uh, what kind of services do you guys offer to all the students and faculty out here? We offer a few different services, such as the Safe Walk program. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If a member of the campus community feels unsafe, they can call us and we can give them an escort to and from anywhere on campus. We also have vehicle assist, uh, which includes jump starts and uh, vehicle unlocks. I know midterms, finals, everybody's stressed, so you've got a college student, they'll lock their keys in the car because they're worried about that. They're worried about that final getting to class, they come back and, oh, we've locked my keys in my car. We'll come out, we'll unlock their car for them. We also have four uh, case emergency blue phones on campus. We know everybody has a cell phone these days, but batteries die, service drops. So that way, if a student needs help, those phones are throughout the campus. So if something happens to their phone, they can push a button and get a direct line to the dispatcher to get help that they need. Immediately as well. I know it happened to me a couple of times too in my college career that I left my keys locked in my truck and I was so thankful. I would say I'm blessed that a campus police officer is here to unlock my vehicle. What kind of relationship do you have with everyone here? We have a great relationship with the campus community. Um, as a department, we strive to build positive relationships throughout no matter what area of the campus it is. We feel like if we build those positive relationships, people are more apt to come to us so we can help stop crises before they start. Also, if we build those positive relationships, we can not only stop crisis, but if a student needs help or a member of the community needs help, they'll come to us for that help, whether it be a personal issue, relationship issues, or they just need somebody to talk to. We want to make sure that we build those relationships so they feel comfortable coming to us. And before we say goodbye, I know there are some folks out there you want to say thanks to. Yes, I'd like to thank the campus community. Um, the entire campus community for their support as well as the college administration and the board of trustees. It's with their combined support that we're able to fulfill the vision and the mission of the college. Um, I'd also like to thank the men and women of the TJC Police Department. They come together and work as a team, as I said before, to keep the campus safe, but they also support each other professionally and personally. Um, just a great group of men and women to work with. Well, we appreciate you guys and just uh, hanging out with you guys for a few minutes today. I immediately got the sense that you guys are truly a family and look out for each other. So we thank you for everything that you guys do. Uh, we brought you a free lunch today just to show our appreciation so thank you very much again this is KETK gives back where each and every week we recognize a different group of first responders here at East Texas this is all made possible by Peter Chevrolet a big big thank you to Peters for stepping it up this year uh, they're going to be making four donations instead of one they already made one to the Russ County Sheriff's Office we can't wait to find out who the other three group of first responders will be reporting from TJC I'm Isaac Ramirez back to you